Hello again, viewers, and greetings, fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night, and I am here in a new series that I'm putting together uh, revolving around the Serious Sam first and second encounter games, uh, where I'm going to go through and do a let's play of them and also uh, show where all the secrets are and how to get them. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is I've been playing a lot of Serious Sam lately, and I figured if I'm going to play it, I might as well record it. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get going here. Uh, I don't know if uh, this is a, a Steam-only thing, or if this happens uh, if you just install the second encounter, but it includes the entire first encounter as the first uh, uh, zone for the game. So I'll be playing from just this one uh, game and I will be going through all of these, Egypt through the Legend of the Beast uh, downloadable content. Uh, and these games can be gotten on Steam, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and start from the beginning and uh, I will be playing on easy, uh, not normal, because I want to uh, actually stand a chance of getting it done in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, and uh, there is one level that I will be demonstrating on normal mode how to get uh, a couple of the secrets, because you cannot rocket jump on anything below normal. But I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, for those who don't know, Serious Sam is a first-person shooter, uh, sort of comedy-style game uh, involving the uh, attack of some super brilliant and malevolent beings from space who are out to destroy the Earth and all of its population. And you, Serious, Serious Sam Stone... Uh, are charged with the defense of Earth and, and the annihilation of said bad guys. Uh, the first secret here was a second pistol, so I can dual wield these. The pistols are uh, unlimited ammo. And there are lots of different creatures. Those are melee. Those can shoot and also do a sort of melee attack. Uh, in order to get rid of that message, I am going to do a uh, quick save. Uh, the next secret that I'm going to go for is up this ramp. And in a moment, I'm going to start spawning. And I'm not sure, but I think that lightning bolt hit one of those guys. That's interesting. Uh, the ammo for the pistols is... Oh, wow, I just fell off the edge. Um, you can just automatically climb a surface without having to jump if it is within a reasonable height. Ouch. And that's another reason why I'm playing on easy instead of normal is because the reaction time because I'm recording is a little off, so... By the time they've already fired, it's too late for me to realize and get out of the way if it's still close. Anyway, the second secret is up here. On th If you're facing this way, it'd be on the right of the upper level. You just go up and touch the wall and you get a shotgun. Yeah, baby! And then it spawns some baddies. Including that guy. Uh, the next one I'm going for is up over here. So I jump up like this, and then jump over here. You get now that's some rocket serious launcher. firepower. And if I can... Uh, nope, not quite. The next one is on the opposite side. I climb up here and this is supposed to be set in uh, Egypt somewhere uh, I don't know if 
there actually is a temple of Het Hatshepsut, I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, but this is what it's called in this game, so maybe maybe there is one, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, the next secret is down here to the left of this ramp. All you have to do is go up and approach and nudge against Hello. the door and you get Hello. representations Hello. of Hello. the Hello. makers of the game called the Crow Team. You don't need to kill them, they don't count towards your kill count, but I just like to. And then on the other side of this ramp, with the use of a rocket, you can enter a similar door by blasting it. And the only way to get in is the rocket team launcher. Owns. And more of the same. I think they all have different faces as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they all have their own face to resemble people from the crow team. And in this secret you get some armor and some more rockets. Then for the next secret, you actually have to head way out here. I did not play the cutscene at the beginning uh, in order to save on time. Uh, if you're interested in watching the cutscene, go ahead and get the game. Play it yourself. Enjoy it. It is a wonderful game. Uh, but as the cutscene uh, shows there's a little black blob over there and uh, it actually is a secret but in order to get to it you kind of have to do a little bit of fighting first you get to the end of this ramp and then head towards it and then suddenly these things spawn and they shoot rockets and mean and dangerous And you can actually shoot their rockets out of the air. I think that's what happened there. I guess I wasn't aiming at him right. There we go. And then when they die, they shoot off one last rocket. Now, this tree over here, if you attack it with uh, your knife or you blow it up with a rocket, what will happen is you'll get swarmed by a bunch of flying mobs called harpies. I do not want to deal with them right now, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going for the max kill count. I'm just going for the secrets. So, ta-da, here's a secret. Uh, one thing I should mention, if you go wandering off too far, uh, you will start to take, I think, what's called heat damage, and it will degrade your armor and reduce your health uh, pretty quickly. So I don't recommend exploring if you uh, find something off in the distance you think is neat. It's probably just a decoration and not worth investigating, except in a few instances like these secrets. And some of the secrets are actually out in the heat zone, so you have to be quick getting them. But anyway, um, you may notice down in the bottom right, there is a six with a blinking envelope. If I uh, click on the mouse wheel here, it brings up... Nutrissa, which tells information about the different weapons you discovered as well as uh, the enemies you've killed 
and I'll go ahead and click those out. But it also shows your statistics. So as you can see, I have already uh, found all seven of the secrets for this level, but I'm going to go ahead and finish off this level uh, before the end of the episode so that you can see what you have to do to finish the episode or finish the, uh, the level. So back down this uh, rather long ramp highway road thing. And then our objective is in the uh, middle of that building up there. Now as I approach it again, there's probably going to be more bad guys spawning. Uh, and we're not quite done with the level anyway, so I am going to come over here and grab some more shotgun shells. Oh, see? Can't dodge fast enough. Then when you pick up the shells, I believe it activates some more bad guys. Maybe I'm wrong. And then I'm going to get this out because... Yeah, it's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. Snarky comments everywhere. Um, in this game, as I pick up this armor, uh, they like to have the uh, items that you pick up trigger events like mobs or items spawning. Also... Most of the items that you pick up will trigger some sort of enemy spawn. So it's not recommended to pick everything up indiscriminately, especially if you are low on Yeah, health. baby! Ah, get away from me. Let's see if I can get close up. Nope. There we go. That thing is called a clear. It's basically an animated skeleton that throws things at you from a distance and then attacks you pretty viciously up close. Uh, I hate the clears the most. All right, and here is the end of the uh, video. Go on to the tunnel. And then it does this nice little cutscene and gives you all of your statistics. I took uh, about twice as much time as the estimated time to go through because I went through and got all the secrets. Uh, but it is possible to do it in the estimated time. But uh, that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, the Temple of uh, Hatshepsut. Uh, and uh, this is the first of this new series that I'm doing in the uh, Serious Sam uh, Secret Revelation Let's Play uh, of the first and second encounters. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section below and I will get back to you as quick as possible. Uh, do check out my other stuff. I've got lots of other games planned in the future as well. Some already going, including Minecraft. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be doing some uh, more spotlights for mods and aspects of mods in Minecraft if you're interested in that. Uh, but... Uh, do subscribe so you know when I've got uh, new content up, which is about every day, every other day, something like that. Uh, and uh, if you like this video and what I'm doing here, please give it a like. I really appreciate it. Uh, but thank you once again. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.